What an epic soundtrack we've got today, huh? Welcome to the chaos that is your good friend, Elrang, the... I'm looking at completely the wrong province here. Elrang, the uh, final surviving alien, one of the final surviving aliens of Green Hill, who yesterday, after several misplaced assassination attempts, has ended up in somehow a slightly better situation, I suppose. Now, uh, I am going to be recording today's episode, uh, or as you're watching this episode at the normal time, but tomorrow's episode I've also got to record basically right after this. Uh, so I did ask in the comments yesterday if anybody had any advice to give to up-and-coming Elrang himself, and I have a massive load of notes that we've got to kind of go through here. A uh, lot of them about cultural conversion and things like that. First thing I've got to do then is a little bit of housekeeping after yesterday's episode. Uh, so we've got to put back some knights, because knights, people were saying, don't cost any money, um, which is kind of inferred, I suppose, from the fact that it doesn't say that they cost money. There we are, that'll do. Um, right, somebody suggested, why not go to your rituals and have a look and see if you can stack up the same ritual three times. Now, I just presumed you wouldn't be able to. I don't know why I presume that. Um, ah, that's why I presume that, because you can't. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I genuinely thought you were onto something there, commenter. They said, why not do fortify stewardship three times, and then you would be able to, um, then you would be able to avoid the uh, massive amount of tax problems we've got right now. Fortunately, not quite the case, is it? Um, right, so you're a managed domain. The big thing that everybody was saying was to begin converting our provinces to our culture. Not only would that help out with control, which in turn would stop the rebellions, but it would also, of course, help out with taxes because we've got more control, etc., etc. So, uh, we want to promote culture. The county changes to a culture, a culture of your choosing. Now, I'm pretty sure that's, again, crossing wise with Crusader Kings 2. I'm pretty sure in Crusader Kings 2, if you try and get people to say Settle Tribe, it will settle the culture of the person that it is, uh, not yourself. So it's it's a little bit messy. It's all, like, I've got to I've got to get back onto the CK2 gameplay aspects, right? The population of Green Hill still clings to the Arenthi traditions and customs. Their stubbornness makes them difficult to rule over, and it would be better to settle some of our own people there. Settlers from various settlements, funnily enough, and cities are ready to start a new life in Green Hill, and most are waiting for our approval. So, as our culture is not native from the region, our conversion efforts will be greatly slowed down, but we will try and work towards converting Green Hill to Mathmeldi. A lot of people pointed out that, of course, the culture determines the building you can build, as it does in CK2. So, that's good. That, that CK2 uh, aspect uh, will benefit me a little bit, I suppose. So... How do we solve the cash issues temporarily, then? Um, somebody was saying we need to get the old arc on our side as soon as possible. Oh, who are we swaying? Remind me. It was that, um... Court physician. She was our court physician. She was our antiquarian, but she's not currently because I had to sack her. So people were saying get the old arc on side as soon as possible because having that support will be massive. So let's start swaying you as soon as possible. 83%. Nice. Only, well, it's only going to take 15 months. All right, well, I mean, for an elf, that's not really much, is it? And in this big general advice coming from Essidus, thank you, Essidus, uh, the, the, the advice is generally don't worry about a lot of your court physicians temporarily, even the court tutor, because we can we can basically act as a guardian for our tutor, at least temper, uh, uh, for our child, at least temporarily, until we can afford the court tutor a little bit better. So it, it said it unlocks the uh, have child study language, but there are no valid targets for the learn language scheme. Interesting, okay. Well, let's sack you then. Sorry, we're gonna lose. I don't think we should lose 200 uh, prestige. That's a weird mechanic, isn't it? Fair enough, though. That will at least bring things to uh, a very, very slight net loss 0 0.4 gold per month. That combined with our abilities use alteration to, of course, keep some money. We should be fine. Oh, you're looking very demure today. The Mulata was, uh, world was shocked to learn that Aldark Dathomalil has been embezzling money. Unbelievable. Um, how could he do such a thing? Condemn him for his transgressions. The thing is, we want to try and win him over, so this certainly won't happen. Defend his character publicly, even at risk to myself. We can't... I was going to say we can't really afford to lose any more prestige, but when you've thrown around prestige as much as we have been, does it really matter losing another 150? Maybe I should stay silent about this. Yeah, I think we'll mind our own business. 15 stress isn't a big deal because of the uh, next thing a lot of people have been telling me about, and that is to have a lot of feasts and to go on a hunt. Now, I presume these cost money. Um, they very much do, and money was the thing I was trying to save up, but you know what? Let's do it. Uh, let's go on a hunt then, because that's 33. We lose 26 stress with that one. The feast, this is what I was more concerned about, right? What's the point of having a feast when we haven't got any vassals? It does increase Liege's opinion. I don't care about our Liege at all, to be honest with you. So let's stick with the hunt. And you know what? I'll go ahead and set that to be a high priority decision, whatever you call it in CK3. You gotta get used to all this, all the strange things going on here. You would think it's a creature from myth, 
Perhaps a god disguised in animal form. It was the largest Senshei Kugura I've ever seen. Um, the Senshei are, are, are Khajiit, born under certain moons. Um, is this a sentient creature we're hunting and killing? Oh, we're aliens. We don't care about that. Even after the beast was wounded, the chase laughed, lasted half a day. It's still an imposing sight lying dead before me. This one will fetch a fine price. Or I will have a beautiful trophy made for my wife. Wife? I'll be honest, I couldn't give less of a shit. I need the money. I need the money. That That is a, a hunt that paid for itself for sure. Oh, and 150 prestige too. Very nice. Oh, yeah. No, we're going we're gonna to have to do that far more frequently, aren't we? No, I presume... Why did that swap from red to neutral? Even though we're making the same amount of money. Very bizarre. Is it because we entered a new month? No, definitely not. The beating. What in the world has happened to my son, Umaril? He's all bruised and beaten and refuses to name who did this to him. Was it an older child or did he pastor a noble to the point of fury? If so much as a pin drops, Umaril will be running for the safety of an empty closet. The poor boy seems to live in constant fear. No, that's not befitting of your namesake. Craven? Ah, oh, Umaril the Feathered. <laughs> That's a good joke. Right. <laughs> this is the stupidest shit I've ever said. Umaril keeps the trait craven. Uh, avoid people and you will be safe. Or there are enemies everywhere. You must learn that. Honestly, a, a, a paranoid potential inheritor of what will be eventually the first ever alien kingdom uh, since the, the fall. I think that could be very helpful. 100% stress gain though sucks. But will keep you alive. Or it might keep you alive. Craven, I just do not think works. Shy seems like a more middle ground compromise. Oh, it also gives a Kana. Ooh, attraction opinion. You lose diplomacy, attraction opinion, personal scheme power minus 20%. But the schemes we've already got going on have been pretty good. Ugh. Honestly, I think I might take Shy for the magic benefits. And he's already doing pretty good on the magic. 13 Arcana. Is that not pretty significant? We've got 27 and we started with a bunch of... um. Seemingly quite overpowered traits. And look, we swayed our old arc too. Hey, very nice. There may be some progress. We've got a claim. Right. I do want to do this. We gain a claim on the temple of Senalana. Oh, is that the holding there? A bloody temple holding? Oh, okay. Um, That's fine. It does also explain why they've only got 725 troops. And it also explains why they're a lowborn ruler. In hindsight, I probably should have clocked that earlier. Um... Yeah, we can, we can just march in and take that. I think that's 84 gold well spent, to be honest with you. Um, oh, hello, twins. For all the authority I supposedly wield as a and I cannot be everywhere in the realm at once. There will always be those who forget to obey my orders once my attention is turned elsewhere. That's why my friend Gwingleruin, ah, classic Gwingleruin, who has been faithfully enforcing my decrees while touring the countryside. Could he serve as my right-hand man and take a more active role in administering my realm? We can name him... Our hand. Ooh. Control growth. Uh, growth. Growth? <laughs> well, I was talking about the English lessons yesterday. Maybe it wasn't far off. Control growth for 0.1 a month. Um, we spend more time with Gringo Ruin. He is our friend, and I think a, a trustworthy, friendly hand could be quite good. Is he like a good character? Is he a good guy? Would we trust a low-born Bosma to be our... Uh, trusting and content. Trusting does not necessarily mean trustworthy, but it does mean that he will believe what we say effectively, right? Um, Squitter places faith in others. He could place his faith in none other than Elrang himself. Yeah, I like this idea, actually. Uh, we can give it to Marshal Thale instead, um, or we can handle everything ourselves if we work harder. You should just hire an editor, or at least that's what people tell me. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go for it. I want the control gain, especially as we're about to potentially expand borders in a second. A stranger is brought before me. I need to turn the speed down. I forgot how fast this game runs. He has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege. The guard informs me. The man bows deeply. My name is Rinlir, your highness. I have traveled far and wide. I have seen many things, and I am weary of the road. If you allow me to stay, I'll happily share my knowledge of the world with you, and I will be your loyal servant. Embrace Auriel, and this will be your home. He converts to our religion, Malada. Uh, gains 20 opinion of us, and he becomes our courtier. We get a weak hook on him, too. We might be able to do something with that. Um, we can just take him on board and not worry about the religious conversion. That would make him probably quite fond of us. Though, to be fair, the religious differences is probably why he doesn't like us in the first place. So if we go with that one, minus 48. Well, hang on, let's, let's take a look here. So if we go for that one, it would be plus two opinion. If we go for that one, plus 63. Yeah, that's, uh, that's common sense right there. For the first time, maybe ever on this channel. So here's what I'm thinking. Uh... Fabricating a claim on a county. 
we could continue and go and grab Grimwatch. And I think we'd be able to actually grab Grimwatch. That would allow us to form a duchy. We'd be able to make, uh, what is the duchy here then? The duchy of Grimwatch, funnily enough. That could be good. Gives us a second car so we can hold everything personally because we've got one out of five domain size. Bearing in mind that that is because we've got a lot of focus on stewardship. We've got the ritual active. We've got our wife working on it. Um, some people were saying that instead we should start throwing our old arc at conversion. And I think rather than expanding very suddenly when we've already got control issues, it might be, dare I say it, more sensible to <laughs> try and take control of the one province that clearly we're struggling with currently. So let's roll with that one. I think that's a better plan. Man, I just had the weirdest flashback. I was like, have I not done all this before? But no, yeah, no, that I have. That definitely did happen. Um, appointed court mage. I don't know what you're telling me about this. Can I can I disable that notification, at least temporarily? Uh, right click to dismiss, but it does come back up, doesn't it? Eventually. Yeah, there you go. All right, whatever. Um, it's all right. I understand county control. Hybrid cultures. Again, eventually, maybe we could do something with that. Um, faith, some religions, and nothing else relevant. Is there any reason to not just charge it now, other than the fact that it's another county that we're lacking control over? How long will it take to convert this to Malada? Um, it's going to take you 16 years. Why? Uh, further. Okay, we got crappy further, but not that bad. Vine dust exemptions, pastoral isolation. Right, so because they are, uh, uh, uh quite like, isolated, spread out people, we lose that one. Malada is a cultural identity. So if we flip the culture, it's actually going to help out with the conversion. That would make sense. Oh, and default. Bear in mind, I kept the game rules at default. That also halves the progression of it. Fine, fair enough. You know what? I'm up for the challenge. That seems good. Again, what's 16 years to an elf, really? Not a lot. It was like a uh, drop, in the, uh, drop in the bucket for your lifespan, huh? Wow, it does run bloody fast. Holy crap. <laughs> I've only just clocked that. Especially Speed 5 in CK2 in the campaign we did on the second channel not so long ago. My god, it's like night and day. Um, how, what's our magic rat? We are at 130, I think. Uh, was it 120 to be able to, or slightly less now, like 117 or whatever, to do a slightly larger alteration transmute? Um, yeah, 114, that's right. For 100 gold? What else would I cast instead? Probably not a lot. I, honestly, we should really keep some uh, mana in the bank, some magic in the bank, so that we can use, say, Resilient or Remedy Illness could be good. Something familiar, we've got a Daedra. Um, oh no, summon Daedra. You lose a scamp again, a flame atronach. Ooh. Yeah. No, that seems pretty good. Arcana plus five. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Get rid of that scamp. Give me that, uh, give me that flame atronach instead. That seems good. And then let's also go for a little bit of alteration too. Then emphasis on a little bit. Um, oh no, we don't have quite enough yet. That's fine. I, again, I want to keep some in the bank just to, uh, just to cover any potential illnesses as well. So if I declare war on you, I wonder if our liege can actually do anything to stop that. I don't really remember the rules in CK3. Um, we get a temple. Are we allowed to hold a temple because it's a religious title? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Um, it's the main county title, but I wonder if it would count as the wrong holding type. Our troops are going to absolutely stomp them, so this shouldn't be a problem at all. Let's go ahead and declare war. Can you do, like, can you, like, raise armies preemptively in CK3? Don't remember. It's already so, so relevant, given that there's rally points everywhere. Oh, sorry, should, what's it? Uh, muster points in this game. That's right. Um, I'm going to go that way rather than try and fight them over a river. I feel like that's just far more sensible. Wow, what a war, huh? Great time. Good work. Let me just casually wait for that to... Ah, very nice. Ooh. Our lead just declared war on another alien ruler. Interesting. Cult of Meridia. What is that you've got there? A Q. Okay, that's not bad. Oran and Goromir. Now, we could be like, oh no, our fellow aliens, oh, this is terrible, how could we? Alternatively, we could look at this as a uh, positive, because there are only four more main rivals to becoming the cultural head. So as soon as she wipes those out, we could potentially be at the top, and then we have full control of the culture, and I mean, effectively control over the religion too, right? Anyway, easy war. Let's see if we can actually hold this bloody title. Force demands, I will, in fact, take the lot, thank you. To the loathsome Elrang, may humors rot your body. You're a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Excellent. So we can disband that one. Um, so we do have a temple holding. It counts as temple holding. You should grant it to someone holding of the wrong type. I thought that might be the case. Um, the issue is we can't grant it to anyone. Is there a negative to doing that? Now, obviously in CK2, the way it works is you just get like 25% taxes from a holding 
that is the wrong type for your government type. This gives you barely any taxes or levies. But if there's no other negative to it, we can just hang on to it for the time being. Uh, at least until we can get enough money together to be able to build up a... How much is a castle? 400. What can we hold, actually? Um, how do I find out our government type here? I have no idea. <laughs> I presume we can only hold... Uh, I presume we can only hold castles. That would make sense, right? Um, well, eventually we'll get around to that. Man, that looks cool, though. Wow. Um, we'll try and save up enough cash then, with a little alteration, it probably won't take long, to throw down a castle holding. It's all the same type of province, isn't it? So we'll throw down a castle holding over here at some stage. That will give us quite uh, quite a good amount of, uh, of land to start building up. Not to mention we could throw this under someone and get ourselves a, a vassal, I suppose. Minor vassal. Ooh! Our wife is pregnant again. Hello there. Pregnant. Been with a child for two months. Is that always kept track like that? I'm not sure. Um, oh. A Trabus triumphant. Cyrodiil is in shot. The warlord of Trabus, a zealot bent on destroying the Akaviri potentate, seized the Imperial City with the crown of Cyrodiil. While it said that the Outer Council should soon get in power and become the ruling body of the Imperial Isles, along with most of the province, the young warlord will stay in control for a few more years to deal with the aftermath of the war. The warlord's hatred for the Akaviri is known to everyone, and some whisper that Atrebus might use this time to further his own ambitions. I don't remember the, the timeline of the Outer Scrolls at this point, but isn't the next major empire Reman? No, 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 it's Tiber Septim. No, 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 no. I don't remember at all. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Um, what fate awaits the rest of Cyrodiil? Not, not, it's none of our business for now. Or at least not for a very, very long time yet, I don't think. Oh! No longer baby. That's okay. I really should pay more attention to the one we've got. It's all right. Uh, how's he coming along then? So he was genius. Acute is always nice. Ritual's fine. Actually, Ritual kind of goes all right with... Um, oh, no, we didn't say Paranoid in the end, did we? Uh, 14 Arcana. 10 Intrigue seems uh, like a pretty good start. He's actually got better Intrigue than us already. For playing tall, I'm, I'm totally happy with that. I think that's completely fine. So can we do... Uh, let's have a look here. We can go on a pilgrimage. I think should we start doing some of these other minor tasks? There's a, there's a become necromancer button. Huh. I mean, surely they won't notice a few empty graves, right? So it costs us 500 piety. There are things in this world that are, at large, considered to be unwise to partake in. Necromancy is one of such things. It is a noble science. It is the darkest art. The practice alone is enough to give conjuration a stigma as a school of magic. Some of the worst people in Tamriel's history have been necromancers. That being said... It is a science. It may not be a respected one, but it offers real solutions to practical problems. Like, for example, not having enough troops to overthrow your liege, and instead putting them in charge of a Khajiit. It brings a new dimension to magical theory in the field of transplanar... Nimitkomachi. That's definitely how you say that. Just how unethical can this be? That... Right, might as well be the alien slogan, huh? Just how unethical can this be? Get that on a shirt. They won't notice a few empty graves. They become a necromancer. Hooray! What does that do for us, I wonder? I, I, I don't think Magnus would hate that too much. I, I'll be honest, I don't really know. Oh, to be fair, though, it doesn't make much sense because... Because uh, Meridia famously doesn't really like the undead. And she is one of the major gods of our religion. Uh, or, you know, so to speak. Well, don't get into the lore too much. Lots of people were very angry last episode at the suggestion that Palinor White Strait might be a cyborg. Although, you can look it up. Michael Kirkbride did say it. Don't argue with me. You can argue with him. I don't like what he says either, okay? We're on we're on the same side. Necromancy gives Arcana plus five. Wow. Learning plus two. Natural Dread plus ten. Whoa. More like Natural Dead plus ten. This is a crime to my liege. Ah. It is shunned in our faith too, which makes sense. Uh, I wasn't aware that it would be a crime to our liege. She can imprison and execute us. Ah. I'm no longer a necromancer. I've changed my mind. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, there is a become lich button. Hold Whoa, hold on a second. Uh, every day my flesh grows weaker and every night the dim glow of arcade taunts me. No more. My understanding of unlife grows and the chains that bind me to mortality can be eroded away by my will. Oh my god. Um, we can become a lich. We lose a lot of piety, a lot of prestige. We lose a lot of stress gain. But we also lose a lot of stress loss. We're very neutral as a character. A lot of dread. We can't have children. 
No monthly lifestyle experience. That is because we've become totally and utterly immortal. It's a crime to my religion, and it's a crime to uh, my liege. Um, wow. Is that maybe a very long-term goal? Perhaps when we've got independence? We could talk about it. I don't remember if the original Alrang became a lich. I'm pretty sure it didn't. Definitely dabbled in necromancy, though. Let's go on a pilgrimage where she'll never find me to arrest me. How much did it cost? Um, oh, minimum cost is 100. Oh, God. Okay, well, I guess we won't go on there for a while. We can wait. We can hold out. Unless she tries to arrest me. Um, I, I think this may have been a, a total mistake. I didn't realize quite the... Oh, my God. Oh, she's House Cameron. Interesting. Um, 6,000 troops. I feel like I can't exactly say no. Shit. <laughs> Had I have known that this was potentially an executable crime... Who'd have guessed that defiling the dead might be looked down on? That's all I'm going to say. They can hardly speak. They eat people. While I was in a market with Umaril, his attention was caught by a criminal chained in the pillory. Umaril watched for a while. When he did nothing but cough and beg for water, Umaril rolled his eyes and kept on walking. Ah, that's good. You seem to be, you seem to be coming along well then. Um, Callus. We lose more diplomacy. We gain intrigue. We gain dread, gain tyranny, and dread decay goes down. Ooh, that's good. We lose a little bit of attraction opinion. A little bit of close family opinion. This criminal is not even worth your attention. He gains arrogant. Um, lower opinion of Legion vassals. Scheme secrecy is lower. And opinion of humble characters is lower, but you gain a lot more prestige. Wow, plus one per month seems pretty sizable. Um, or, no child, bring the poor man... No, nah, you wouldn't say that, let's be honest. We've got to play, we gotta play the people. We've got to play the religion here. I feel like Callus is probably the correct decision. Honestly, he's becoming a hell of an entry character. I think he might end up doing doing pretty good things. Because I feel like Elrang may uh, horribly die. So we were going for... That's right. We were going for Serve the Crown under uh, the Overseer Tree, which I'm more than happy to go for. Natural Dead plus 15. We get a lot of control growth as well. I think we want to go down... Um, I think we want to go down the right-hand path, don't we, for a while. Strict organization increases county control and county progress gain 20%. So that's the, uh, the job for the Marshal, right? Um, hard rule gives us dread gain. That's cool. Soldiers of the Last Fortune makes mercenaries cheaper. Not really relevant when you haven't got any money. Absolute control and then overseer. I'm not sure if we want to go entirely down the tree. Just enough to take the edge off, though, is, is, is quite nice. Enough to get these taxes in order. Look at that. 52 out of 100, 53 out of 100. It's going up pretty bloody fast. As I tour the streets of Green Hill, surrounded by my usual entourage of guards and courtiers, I see something which causes me to stop and gasp. A peasant beggar with nothing to protect himself from the elements but mud and rags stares at me with desperate eyes. As then a member of my procession points out that he's, spit he's the spitting image of me. It is harrowing to see my mirror image wallowing in filth, but perhaps I can do something to correct this cosmic injustice. Is he the spitting image of you? Man, that is a messed up mirror. I mean, he's like a, uh, he's like the painting in the attic that's getting uglier as Elrond commits more and more atrocities. Uh, yeah, move on and forget this uncanny creature. Totally agree on that one. Holy crap. Though I, <laughs> though I sh will surely see many battlefields before I meet my maker, my library holds tales of war from a hundred lifetimes. I've recently acquired a tome on the Great Siege of Old Marak, as well as a time-worn scroll written in some ancient language. Who knows what secrets it holds? We can study an old battle, giving us March plus one, or we can attempt to translate the scroll. Absolutely. 100% chance we cover a piece of ancient knowledge. We gain one martial and one learning and a commander bonus for 20 years. Oh, I mean, we've got to do it. There's no reason not to. Even with the help of a dusty glossary, the scroll is reluctant to share its secrets, but I press on. As the night progresses, the most incredible story unfolds before me. A series of mil military expansions conducted by Darlock Bray, the golden beast of Aniquina. An An Aniquina? I have no idea how you say that. The period is perceived as glorious by the Khajiit, with loot from the conquest used to advance the greatest of the golden beast's architectural projects. At the height of the Aniquine conquests, the borders of his realm went as far as the Strid Wither? W Wither? The Strid River in the west. Try saying that ten times. With Kaj Rawlith being the westernmost point to the Larsius River in the east, encompassing all the lands between Arenthia and Rimen. We can study the battle, or we can focus on the translation process. Um, so this one gives us... God, I need to make this tooltips faster, don't I? Um, martial and learning for 20 years. Advantage in a forest up by five. That could be good. Or we focus on the translation process. Gives learning plus two. Ooh. Um, I think I'll take the learning, actually. I think that contributes well to uh, the whole kind of magic aspect of the character more than the other one. Oh, God. He's broken down. 
Why must I do everything myself? How can I be expected to rule over Greenhill when half my servants are incapable of following my orders and the other half does not even understand them? Why must you be incompetent idiots? We're getting irritable. Um, I think that's fine. Prowess plus two, we lose uh, some stress, but we gain a lot of dread. Oh, Arcana, minus four. Oh, God. Unlocks the Unleash Your Anger interaction. Oriel, I need a drink. I presume that will also potentially lower... Oh, God, these tooltips. I presume that will also lower Arcana. Ugh. Endure. Endure it. You know what? I might let you have a feast. How about that one? Just don't... H how long so we can do another hunt? Um, Like nine months? That's not too bad at all. Fine, I'll, we'll, we'll have the feast, okay? I'll allow it. That's totally okay. Very acceptable stuff. The guests are gathered in the Great Hall. Lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and the spirits high and the feast begins. Welcome, friends. The feast is dwindling down. Ooh, and I find myself in deep conversation with my insatiable Aldark Dathomalil. He inquires about my opinion on theological treaties, a subject he's deeply interested in himself. Um, because we're vengeful, uh, we don't want to talk about religion with this guy? Not sure I understand why. Um, oh, is it because we actually just do not care? I'm more interested in you! I'm not sure he means in like the, you know, look at the muscles on you kind of way, but I think in more of the, uh, the friendly kind of way. Gains a 20 opinion. Excellent. Every Jester's Festival celebrant, it is a common prank to shower those who look grumpy with flowers in the hopes of improving their mood. I noticed from our father that Dathomalil was not having the greatest of times. Perhaps a flower shower would help from turning that frown upside down. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything more appropriate for an alien ruler. Um, you grow closer. 66% chance of growing, growing a, a friendship. That would be fantastic, given that he's our old arc. And it's probably going to be our old arc for a while, given that he's only 43. Um, if we can pull this off, this would be amazing. 66% chance. What happened? Oh, it didn't give us a response like it normally does. Um, I think we actually did get it, though, judging by the... Judging by the fact it's got 62 opinion. Although, angry, minus 18. E. Do you think he was angry I threw flowers at him? Yeah, maybe. And with everyone headed home, I am proud to say the feast was a success. I have my wife to thank for much of its success, and I feel nothing but gratitude. Until next time. My liege won their war. That's horrifying, given that, um... Given that she may also turn around and declare war on us in a second. Oh my god, she's ended up being quite powerful. Um, her primary heir is an alien lady, which may give us a bit more flexibility. So, wait, who was I looking at then? Wait, what? Who, who are you? No, I was looking at Silver now. Oh, to be fair though. We could still... Oh, it's her grandmother. We could still bonk her on the head and put an alien in charge instead. That might not be too terrible. Hmm. I don't think it, it doesn't help us at all, but culturally it might not be a terrible plan. My only concern, though, is it, again, kind of puts us on the back foot with the cultural uh, aspect of, of us potentially being in charge of that. I don't think we really have much of a plan right now. Um, your primary heir is Prince... Aradan. You a necromancer? Nope. Uh, your primary heir is, is you. Okay. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see if there's a, a window of opportunity somewhere. Tonight, I've stripped myself of every symbol signifying my rank to walk anonymously among my soldiers. It's a quiet evening, so when an argument breaks out, the word reads me loud and clear. An infantryman is trying to convince her commander, my Pelin Honorata, of the advantages of an alternative strategy. Honorata will hear none of it. As I approach, the infuriated woman raises her fist. We can step in and protect the soldier. We've only got a 25% chance of winning here, but we do gain a whole perk out of it, which could be great. Make an example of them. We gain 20, 27 dread and we beat her. Uh, sneak away and take credit for the soldier's idea. Um, I, I think that... I think the 25% chance of a perk is good, but there's also a 33% chance she might give us a real whooping and we might get severely injured. But we can magic that away, right? Oh. No! And knowing the consequence of harming a commander, the soldier does not know to defend himself from the oncoming blows. As blood is drawn, I throw myself between them. Perhaps I should have known better than to brawl with a seasoned warrior. In the end, I must reveal my identity for her to let me go. I skulk back to my tent before the news spread. At least I learned a trick or two. Okay, so we didn't get severely injured, I presume. No, we're still just wounded. That's fine. Who? We did get 50 lifestyle experience. It wasn't a complete wasted time, turns out. How are we doing on the control front? Oh, no. 
Oh, I thought I'd broken everything then. 63. Okay, so we're actually, we're, we're getting there quite well. We are getting there quite well. Hostile opinion, sorry, popular opinion is minus five. Um, the culture is going to take forever. We're 20% we're of the way there, unfortunately. 63% of the way towards total counter control and 26% for converting faith. Doesn't actually seem that bad. When you consider it'll be just, uh, you know, a couple of episodes and then we'll have total control of our capital. Culturally, religiously, there is a dangerous faction in our realm. Oh my god, it's the bloody peasant rabble again. Um, wants to lower county control. You can't lower the county control, right? How do you lower it any bloody further? Oh, sorry, yes, Senalana, gotcha. Um, that is certainly a problem. Oh my god, that one's Imperial Cult. Oh lord, popular opinion minus 88. <laughs> Everything is going fine, thank you for asking. Let's go on a hunt. Let's pay for themselves, effectively. My wife, Arpina Lossilia, is the first to see it. A majestic stag is hard to distinguish from its surroundings, but it's observing us through the undergrowth. As I lock eyes with the animal, it's almost as if it can sense my intention and suddenly takes off. We ride, or uh, we ride carefully. No, we ride with, with power and fury. We follow the stag on its flight through a ravine, and suddenly Arpena Lassilia's horse loses footing and sends her into the ground screaming. It's nothing fatal, but she is twisting in pain. Um, I'm sorry, wife. Those who fall behind get left behind. Oh, we gained a level of fame. Our glory is widely known. No, we want to keep our head down. We don't want glory. Oh, God. Now we're going to get executed for necromancy. I know that it's a killing shot before the arrow even finds its target. As the stag stumbles, we drawn and falls. We drown out its whales with shouts of victory. A good kill. The hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses and leave the hills behind us. The servants prepare the stag. Another game for the journey back. Do I make some money? No. Oh. Well, you know, these things happen, don't they? I'm not sure I want to be distinguished. I think that could be a concern, but that's all right. I'm leading a patrol when we spot a group of figures. These are what we're getting all these events, of course, because we're on the, uh, the martial focus for a little while. I'm leading a patrol when we spot a group of figures emerging from the darkness of the night. Hooded figures obscure their faces, but by one's ungainly gates, I recognize Balan, my, pal my palin. My lord, whispers one of the men. They are deserting. What should we do? Ooh, deserters? Um, a martial challenge against her. Now, when you say martial challenge, you mean like the martial skill. Um, because she is slightly better than us unless I throw up a ritual fast, which I very much could. Um, let's go uh, restoration, fortify, martial. Activate that one. And then hopefully that'll apply right uh, as we... Oh, I suppose because it's already calculated it, perhaps. I didn't see what the percentage was before. Um, it's 80% chance. Apprehend them immediately. After a short scuffle, the deserting soldiers are apprehended. Every soldier present, both loyal and not, know that the punishment for this can be harsh. The air is thick with anticipation and fear. My lord! Balan meets my gaze with tired eyes. They're only children. They just want to go home. Shall we execute them? The price for betrayal must be paid. Execute them all. We gain 27 dread, one martial perk guaranteed. Oh my god. Overworked soldiers for five years. 15, 15 stress because we're vengeful. Why would we gain stress even though we're vengeful and we've executed soldiers that almost seems that, that, that like that should be the opposite way around surely we want revenge on these sh soldiers for trying to abandon us right how strange um we can say you're scrubbing the latrines for months i mean look that one's 80 percent chance of gaining the perk and we don't gain the stress which we're trying to get rid of fine I think that's acceptable. Hey, we did it. After months down in the filth, the deserters fall back in line at the first chance they get. Observing the reactions of both the punished deserters as well as that of other soldiers scared to face a similar punishment, I've come to understand the troops better. We gain one martial perk. Amazing. Sweet. Um, I think we will probably go for a strict organization. And then I think we're probably going to bounce back to magical arts for a while, right? Um, I think we'll probably go for practice, uh, practical magic focus, because that also gives us a little bit of stewardship, which in turn might help out with our monthly income. Because <laughs> it's not looking so good, I'll be the first to admit. Oh my god, we got a magic event already. Most people believe that illusion is about deception, even though the assessment isn't wrong per se, there is of course more to this than mere glamours and mirages. For instance, through apophatic in intrusions projected into one's surroundings, one can turn the fundamental magics of illusion into something that reveals truth instead of concealing it. A simple clairvoyant spell. 
Granted, its scope is limited. I found no references to it being refined to such a degree where it could rival the alleged prophetic gifts of the wise women of Morrowind or even the cultists of Azura. It seems like one can only use it to strengthen intuition, confirm reasonable doubts, and connect thoughts that were already there. But perhaps I can make it... Perhaps I could tune it as high as possible. Ooh. Um, in a burst of magicka, you perceive something hidden. 86% chance of gaining clairvoyant mage for four months. Hostile scheme and scheme discovery increase and 100 magic lifestyle experience. Let's try it. Ah, very nice. There you go. So we've gained both of those benefits. We should be quite close to another perk because I think I left it kind of halfway on the... Uh, yeah, 632 out of the thousand, so we get that in no time. It's my wife. With my mind set on a relaxing evening, I'm heading for my wife Lasilla's chambers with some jagger and a chess set. Without knocking, I push her door open. She is seated by a desk, writing furiously. As I clear my throat, she jumps out of her skin. She stuffs her roll of parchment into her pocket and turns towards me with an uneasy look on her face. Um, what are you hiding? Show me at once. We shout at our wife. Very rude. Return later and search her chambers in secret. What would the character do? I wouldn't be I wouldn't be shouting at her, but I feel like this is uh He's a cynical, vengeful, ambitious person. I feel like he would want to know what the hell's going on. Did she really think I would not see that? Give it to me at once. Lasilia hands me the crumpled parchment and crosses her arms. Someone is accepting an invitation, expressing their happiness and excitement to spend some time with me. The one who wrote this is my friend, Gwinga Ruin. It was supposed to be a surprise, a fun and relaxing trip for the two of you. Now it's all ruined. Oh. Have, if I had not ruined her surprise, I would have lowered my stress and increased my opinion with Gwinga Ruin. I'm sorry, I had no idea. Well, that's what you get for being cynical about everything. Maybe you should have assumed it would have been, would have been nicer. We should grant it to someone. I'm well aware. I'm, I'm working on it, okay? We've got, a lot to, we've got a lot of stuff to do here. We've got to work on county control. We've got to convert our faith. How am I ever going to get time for this? Oh, how are we doing with that, too? I completely forgot about it. Oh, God. Should we spawn the army? Relevant to the county's levies. The county's levies, it being a temple, is practically non-existent. Rally the troops. 271 men. Where did they come from? How did you get 271 men when it's a bloody temple? Or is it a fucking clown car? <laughs> that seems like nonsense. I didn't believe you for a second. So the person that we took the county off when, when the county was under siege could raise a whopping, what, 70 men? Now all of a sudden it's about taxes and you've tripled your troops. I didn't believe that for a second. Very suspicious. Obviously we still won. They were just peasants after all. Right, enforced demands. Locals are pacified for 25 years. We gain 50 popular opinion. Oh, that's really good. We're going to imprison Galba. Unbelievable, Galba. How could, you, how could you do this to me? I trusted you. Poor sweet Galba. We could torture him. Maybe we could do a little necromancy on him. Hang on. Um, I mean, obviously, he would have to die first. I know that you can't do necromancy on the living, or at least not easily. Um, how do I see my prisoners, then? Let's have a look here. Um, hello. I can ransom you out. Ooh. Oh, for a weak hook. Boo. Um... He is a known criminal. We can execute him without being viewed as a tyrant. And we gain 11 dread. And we gain 50 piety. We could execute him and then maybe do a little necromancy. Maybe we get an event. I don't know, even know how to begin with the necromancy, to be honest with you. <laughs> I know there are rituals, right? We should have a look at that briefly and see what we've got. Um, oh, we get a new slot. I presume that's limited by our actual arcana level, right? Maybe our learning. Um, necromancy. We know nothing. We have no necromancy options currently, but maybe there are, you know, religious limitations or something else I don't know quite yet. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go here. So, 152 in Grimwatch. Honestly, I feel like, I, in hindsight, I wish I'd have started uh, fabricating a claim over here before I started converting this county. Because if we stop it now, we're, we're losing, like, all of the progress. We've already sunk a lot into it, right? Um, that is a bit of a fallacy, but we can roll with it, I think. So, expert ulceration, mass paralysis, journeyman restoration is mend wound. Uh, might not be a terrible idea, given that our character has been wounded for... Well, since we escaped the prison, right? Since we, we, we fought that guard in the prison. Um, lift curse. Cure disease at the highest level. I do want to summon a Daedric army. And to be completely blunt, given that we're apparently openly practicing necromancy... Uh, and that is a cause for our leech to imprison and execute us. I could definitely see us going down this route. Summon Dramora. 
And then in theory, all we need is a thousand more experience and we can go master conjuration and summon a Daedric army. Whether we've got the arcana or the magical level to be able to do that. Whoa, 360 now. Whoa. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, let's toggle off these rituals then. Let's turn that one off. We do need to keep Fortify Stewardship active until we've got counter control, but that really won't be much longer at the rate we're going. We're absolutely flying through it. Look. Oh, Peasant Rabble in Green Hill. That's fine. We'll see what happens. My good companion, Gringle Ruin, has been off to dine with me for the last few days. No, has been off with me in the last few days, each night avoiding my invitation to dine. In fact, exactly the opposite of what I said originally. Today, he catches me alone in the library. Elrang, I'm sorry, but I have to tell you this as, my, as your friend. Your unremitting need to move forward, no end in sight. It puts you in bad stead. Surely you must see it does uh, an up no good to behave this way. Uh, I'm sorry, Gr Gringle Ruin. Is he content? Sorry, Gringle Ruin. I must not fall behind. He loses his opinion of us. There's a 20% chance he stops being our friend, but we lose 26 stress. And I think that's a very necessary evil. That will take us down to a stress level. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. Is the stress level at 99 or 100? Either way, it's bloody close. I'm so... Oh, Gringle Ruin. Oh, that poor guy. Oh, and now we've got the Interregnum. Wow. For centuries, Cyrodiil and the most of the Tamriel was ruled by the Riemann dynasty and then the Potentate. Over the last few decades, the authority of the Imperial Province over the other regions of Tamriel diminished until the Potentate could only claim dominion over parts of Cyrodiil. As the Potentate finally crumbled and fell, a power vacuum in Cyrodiil appeared, quickly filled by the Outer Council, who assumed control over the Imperial City and its surrounding areas. This new power, claiming legitimacy through the powers given to them by the Elysian and Riemann lines, took the name of the Imperial Commune. All over the world, the authorities crumble, and the people look to their nearby lords of protection. The Interregnum has officially started. Whoa. So, uh, King Atrebrus of Coral... A new government led by the Outer Council will take control of the Imperial Isle. Uh, he has been unable to enforce his rule over the Heartlands. They will only be able to protect their rule over the Imperial Isle and the rulers of the Heartlands who accept their claim. They'll be known as the Law Protector of the Imperial Isle. The rest of Cyrodiil will be free to pursue its own goals. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the Interregnum was kind of the starting bookmark in the original Elder Kings, right? Um, whoever holds the Empire of Cyrodiil gains access to form the Empire of Tamriel. Whoa, so this is it. This is where it all begins, right? And then I think it, th this is, you know, the preamble to Tiber Septing eventually popping up, isn't it? I missed the part. Well, that's my problem. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Toby McGuire. Very cool. Umaril comes of age. Oh, he looks fancy. Wow. With his coming of age, my tuition of Umaril is at an end. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Umaril the intricacies of warfare. I was naive. He has only developed a basic understanding of the subject, but at least he has learned the essentials of managing an army. I can only hope that the rest will come with experience. He gained tough soldier and holy warrior. Sorry, I, I feel like I missed uh, an essential part of his education somewhere. Was there a way we could have driven... Oh my god, it's there! Shit, I, I, well, I was able to change his lifestyle all this time. You know, I, I didn't even put any thought into it. Obviously, CK2 pesters you to absolutely no end if there's even something slightly wrong with your child. This one didn't even prompt us. It wasn't like, hey, do you want to change your master education? No, you good? Damn. Oh, well, that's okay. Honestly, maybe uh, a good soldier isn't too bad. Oh, his intrigue is nuts. I really wish I could have flipped him over to intrigue in hindsight. Balls. Well, that's okay. You know what? We've learned a lesson here. A very valuable lesson. Well, thank you for joining me today. I think this is a good point to wrap it up with uh, Cyrodiil completely collapsing in on itself. We've, uh, you know, we've grabbed another province. It's been slow going here. Become a necromancer, so it might be executed tomorrow. And we've educated Umaril, the uh, questionably good character. I, I think he has a lot of potential, but I feel like he was very poorly educated. All that folks on intrigue and then ended up going into martial. It's very bizarre. Like, a, quite a well-rounded character. His stats aren't very much divorced from our own stats, given that a lot of what we had was was uh improved over time particularly given that we were a character design character i i'm not that i'm i'm not that worried about it i don't think i, I think he's more of a side grade than, a, than like a significant downgrade but we'll see how it goes as per usual tomorrow i will be um or as i explained earlier tomorrow i'm going to be uh pre-recording the, the the next episode but then we'll be back to usual after that so i'll be following a few more of the comments from the last episode so i can catch up with some other good suggestions 
Hopefully, we'll have finished our conversion, our, our county control, and our culture tomorrow then. Let's see how it goes.